Hey man, this is Chris of Funcats. Got four games that recently went free. Uh, let's talk about them. First one's Run Run Die. It's a hard mode platformer. Next is Crazy Kangaroo. It's like a cartoony Temple Run variant, but I'm giving it a chance. Next is Age of Dinos or Dino Attack. Cool little Paper Mario shooter. And then a puzzle game called VM. It's so hard. Whenever you're ready to pick up your next phone, check out PhoneCats.com. What do we got? There's an AT&T Atrix for $257, a Galaxy Note for $360, and an iPhone 4 for $279. Not too bad. Okay, here's Run Run Die. If you've played any of those insanely hard mode games on Steam or just on your computer before, you might get into this. The It's just very blissful simple controls like tap to jump, but I don't know. It's so insanely hard. Let's play. Okay, here's some footage for Run Run Die. Um, very simple platformer. Once you touch, your character starts going. You can hit a wall and kind of use it as like a checkpoint to stop for a while. You gotta jump over all the dinosaurs, and if you can't even make it over that tiny one, you're gonna have some trouble with this greenie. You're supposed to get all the stars, and here's the hard part. Yes, I'm the best, I'm the best. I couldn't make it past that yesterday. Isn't it weird how sometimes if you're having a hard time with a... What? Sometimes you will need to change your environment. Press the spanner icon to enter edit mode? What does that even mean? Oh my god, now I have to turn into blue boy? This game's crazy hard. What? What can I even do? I'm gonna have to read. To activate a ghost block, tap it. Oh, what the? Ah ha ha! Think you could trick me? Bridges need to be dragged out. This game is getting crazy hard. Oh god. I don't even get it. So it puts it into like slow mo edit mode? If I ever have to do this to where things are moving at full speed, and I really think that's going to be the gist of it. Oh god, I should have blown those up! This is so insane. I'm not playing another level after this. I've already decided it's too hard. Oh, getting that star power? Jeez, Louise, what are these? Oh no, I needed that star! Oh god. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> Alright, that's it for this one. So insane. All right, here's Crazy Kangaroo, and this is the last Temple Run game that I'm playing. I say that every time. In this one, it's really cartoony, and I like it because you can tilt forward, and it gives you like a sense of forward momentum. So at least these guys are innovating. All the Temple Run clones that are just blatant infringements piss me off. Let's play. All right, here's Crazy Kangaroo. This is the tilt sensitive one. So it's normally, I don't know, it's kind of like Temple Run to where there's forward progression and there's something chasing you, but then, Whoa, they just threw a spear at me! You can tilt forward to go into hyper mode. I'm gonna try to recalibrate this by tapping. Oh, like a boss! Okay, so apparently if you don't go fast enough, then these dudes start gaining on you. Um, there's three different world packs, and that's one of the reasons I'm feeling this. Just because there's a little bit of visual variety. Temple Run just gets so tedious. Uh, they do have some of the, I don't know, really akin to like Jetpack Joyride or Subway Surfer power-ups, but the controls are new enough and everything that I'm feeling it. And I just like the graphics, the way there's like that uh, up and down momentum, like a, I don't know, like a cool sense of movement. But I'll probably die in 10 seconds and then we'll move on to the next. Nine, eight, seven. Six. Was that a B? Five, four, three, two, one. I'll die on purpose. Fun cats. All right, here's Age of Dinos. I'm just kind of still warming up to this one. I'm on day four, I think. And when you hit day eight, you get more endless modes and cool stuff. All kinds of upgrades. Uh, quick gist is a dual thumb controller to where you're running in like a Paper Mario world from dinosaurs. It's fun. All right, here's the dinosaur game. I am on day four. Four. And once you hit day eight, you get the new uh, like infinite mode or whatever the next little level thing is. Tons of uh, purchases. Like you can buy better guns. You can buy like weird stim pack things to give you more health. 
And here is the only tip that I can offer you. The only thing that I've learned is that if you stay around this fence area, um, dinosaurs are really stupid and they'll just uh, get corralled over here. I wish I knew all their names. The ones with the like ball on their tail, those are pretty elite. I like dinosaurs that are more uh, defensive. Yes, my favorite was Triceratops. Oh, look at this little lady. Hello, my little. She looks like Kat Von D. I don't know how to buy things. It says I got 96 bucks, but I still can't unlock any new guns. Just running around with this dinky pea shooter. But the graphics are pretty cool. I like, uh, I was obsessed with Super Paper Mario. This is just kind of like the same, I don't know. Things have that white border and there's like a sense of, a, a nice sense of depth. I'm kind of uh, excited about finding new dinos because it starts out kind of slow right now. But if you check some of the screenshots on the preview download screen on iTunes, they have some like monster stuff that's going to be coming at you. And I think this game is normally a dollar or two, but if you're watching this anytime uh, recently, the, since it came out, then you can pick it up for free. Oh, I'm going to take you out. Look at I hate their feet. I hate their feet. I don't like to see them run. Ah! Is that it? Where's the dummy? Who's the dummy? No, oh God, they broke free! No! Where's my health? No! Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. All right, here's VM. I saved this one for last because it's not as graphically intense and some people might not be into it, but if you're a puzzly person, you might get hooked on this. They're bragging that most people, like only a handful of people, maybe like two or three people have even beaten the entire game. And that's enticing to me, I don't know why. But uh, we'll get to the gameplay, it's so tricky. All right, here's the am. Uh, the least graphically intense out of all these games, but the most mentally stimulating. Name of the game, get your blue dot over to this side, but <laughs> I'm only on the fifth level and it's already getting insane. Um, here's your D-pad, it's kind of funky. I kind of wish that Wish that things were different. I can't even talk and play this game at the same time. It's so ridiculous. See, right now I think I'm in trouble because every time that I move up or down, these things move with me, but I think I got this one. Uh, they go really slow paced at first and then they just start introducing these new mechanics and it's quite satisfying when you make it to the next level. But things are so easy at first that you're just kind of like chugging along. Up. Down this way. Um, I really don't know why they didn't go with like a more traditional D-pad for the controls, but I don't know. Okay, no good will come of that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Cool. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Phone cats.